How many have you seen them that you don't want to see in person? That's the first one. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, wow. Hey guys, we got Chris Hahn coming, founder of Styling Garage, all the way from Hamburg, Germany. So there's a SGS helicopter out there. Yes, yes. All right, guys, once again, something very special arriving to the collection, the E36 Hootinger. Hootinger wheels. <laughs> I think it was a uh, Volkswagen. They're famous for putting Volkswagen, especially in the 90s and the uh, early 2000s. Okay. They made really, really, really fast Volkswagens. And I didn't know that they did Mercedes, but here it is. So it's a 3.6 built yeah. by Ertinger. Yeah. Um, we got it in Japan. We're lucky to find it because these cars, they really don't exist. Uh, it's very rare. I mean, the thing I used to do only Volkswagen, so wow. we're learning now that they did some fences too. Very, very cool car. Oh my god, he even has the cluster. Three finger cluster yes. and steering wheel. And, and wheels. the wheels. And we got the badge, of course. And it's tuned, correct, by then? Yeah, it's, it's built from 3 liter to 3.6. Oh wow, so they bored it out. Yeah. Very cool. All right, well, I'll let you know. Thank you, man. All right, guys, we're back with Pierre. Finally taking a look at this fin tail. Oh, boy. All right. Pierre, what have you seen? What have you noticed since you've gotten here? Bro, I know that I know that somehow Spark is not making it to all the cylinders. Although I think the distributor is doing its job in creating Spark. I'm getting Spark on cylinders one and two, but not three and four. Okay. So there are different reasons for why that can happen. Right now I'm doing what's called a continuity test on the spark plug wire to see if I'm getting voltage through the wire. Looks like I'm going to get voltage through here, but the resistance is high. It's like 10,000 ohms. All right, guys, we're going step by step. We're going to try to get this thing running again to get it back on the road. We got Bruno Sacco here. All right, guys, we're inside the legendary one-off fin tail right here. See it? See the bucket seats in the back? Okay, we got the legendary pier putting his hands on the motor. This thing's been sitting in my garage for a long time here in my house, so we're going to try to get this right, guys. Awesome. Mad scientists at work. Go for it. Yo! Wait! 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 It almost started. It almost started, but... A few moments later... Just like that, guys, the mad genius got it running. Like we knew he would. How do you feel? I needed a battery. Stop! <laughs> Stop! I feel good because... Obviously, like, if, I, if I'm not able to do this stuff, people are going to look at me and they're going to be like, oh, Pierre's not the real deal, you know? But this is literally, like, one of the simplest things that Mercedes made, the M121. If I can't get this thing running... Just quit. Don't work in the Look how clean it's idling, guys, not a skip. Yeah, it's like it just even got better. It's like a clock. What's up, guys? Roy and Toby. Yeah. All right, guys, all the way from Germany? Yeah. Roy and Toby, all the way from Germany, man. Uh, affiliated with the famous, famous brand, Benny S. We're gonna show him the Benny S right now, see how he feels. So let's look at the cars and see how you guys feel. Welcome to the kingdom of Bokotan, guys. Welcome. We got Daniel, 
This is Roy, this is Toby Dan. Uh, he does the MIB stuff. And Ben, I love yes. it. That's good stuff. And Roy is the son of, uh, I guess, the creator of Ben. Yes? Uh, yeah. All right. You got license plates, you got air fresheners over here. Yeah. All men and Ben's. He has all of them and events and stickers. Yeah, we'll definitely do a couple of shoots for them. You know what I mean? Represent the brand. We love uh, representing all the guys in Germany. Look at the street dreams. I love that. Men and events performance. Uh, okay, so you worked at Brabus for 12 years? No, no. Uh, I was for five years on, uh, at Brabus and it was a few years. Just for learning. Just for learning, yeah. How was, it, how was the culture working there? Art? Yes. Fun? Art, it was fun. But it was um, was like a like hospital, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like hospital there, yeah. It's very very big. Orderly, very clean, organized. organized. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, organized. Yeah. What cars did you work? Did you work on what what part? What section of the? Uh, uh, everything, yeah. everything. Yeah. Did you ever see an Invicto? Invicto, no. Invicto was um, after you. Was another not, another not, not, not my time. Yeah. yeah. It was from 2012 to 2017. I was there, okay. and uh, Invicto yeah. Was after that. Yeah, the video's up there. Okay. The Pana, the Pana here, the Benny is Pana. You know, Lido, many, you know any, anything about the figure? Uh, I, I don't know it exactly, but I think it was uh, free. Yeah, that's what we think so. And uh, uh, Indy also. Yes. The last one was Indy and it was uh, sold to uh, uh, Congo okay. in Africa. Wow. Um, so they actually made, they made the Indy? Yeah, they sold one of the products. No pictures of it. Yeah, yeah. No. You see the red, the black, and the silver is what we had seen in photos. Yeah, but these photos here. You know, sometimes they paint over and do the cards yeah. over. The these, these are press photos. Yeah. So this is also a zoning. Huh? Zoning? Zoning, yeah. Yeah, zoning. Yeah. Very cool. And uh, I think this is still more green, but it's still like this. Wow, that's okay. cool. But it's private. I tried to get there in, but. Yeah, private property. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to. Huh? But you know where it is, it's all, yeah. yeah. So, uh, it's missing it's, the many yes. Yes. yes, this was difficult. Uh, <clears throat> my father made it with the star. Yeah. Yes. And once the Mercedes said, hey, you can't do it with this body, we won't, uh, we don't want the, the star, yeah? Yeah. And so he made the many yes. And I know this is the only one in America. Yeah. Yeah. And I know it because of uh, some pictures where it was on the trailer for going to the uh, harbor. And it was on, uh, on the Chicago. Yeah, yeah. The, for years, we yeah. checkered floor. And also for Vegas. Okay. Yeah. And it was in the hall 188 here in Miami okay. because uh, the Thunderbolt Row, there my father got a property. And yeah. I so your father brought this part of Miami? Yes. Okay. Yes. We tuned it in Germany, yeah. in our properties. And then there so was the one. first Miami, then they started moving around. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. First Miami. Okay. My father got in Miami. They went from Miami Chicago, to Chicago, then Las Vegas. Las Vegas, Chicago. No. I don't know yeah. what. Yeah, yeah somewhere. So Chicago, so Chicago, Chicago, Chicago. Because so huh? they ended up in the West Coast, that's where we got it. Yeah. How many have you seen them? They told the one you've seen in person? That's the first one. Oh, wow. Wow. So, <laughs> wow, wow. I built a little model, it's not finished, but yeah. I built a little model from this car, yeah, uh, to celebrate this the time, yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah, for us it's the first one we ever see, yeah. Good bad. It's just right, man. It's just right. You can't it. So you can step the first. I thought you don't want to talk about this. Yeah. So everything I have to... To uh, oh, wow. a whole lot of it. Because it was his dream, and you know the fun about it all. Yeah, there were cigarettes and Apache. This was his dream with, with cars, with uh, boats, yeah, tuna boats, or uh, individualized boats, yeah. yeah. And I did never get it. Yeah. So it was the same type like Brabus. Brabus was uh, two or three years ago, yeah. earlier. Yeah. And brown is gone, no? Look at brown is today. Yeah. Yeah, big. Yeah. Uh, There's no. Everywhere. Your, your dad's gonna be now in a museum. This car's gonna be in a museum. We're gonna put his picture next to it. We're gonna show it to the world. So his legacy will live on for You know, sometimes this is about timing and luck. And uh, it doesn't matter. Sometimes it's not about getting it right or not. Sometimes other things come to play. And for us, when we saw it, we thought it was one of the most beautiful things we've ever seen in our lives. Ah, sometimes I think it's a little bit. Uh, 
That's uh, subtitles. That's subtitles. Uh, but it's the eighties. American, American, yeah, but and, it's and also a, Arab. For yeah. us, this is like it's super shit. cool. We think yeah. it's beautiful. Yeah. It's our shit. We love it. I think one picture looks completely different than it. You don't appreciate the depth. Here is there's real yeah, depth to it. In, in the rear, it looks awesome. Yeah, the rear is like, when I come back and look at it from like back, you can imagine, like here, it's like, wow. <laughs> it's like crazy. We can see both fenders. Great. Yeah. Smile one more time. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> it's good. It's not original when you see it. The tool for it. You know the tool for it? Yeah. I love the tool for it. <laughs> That's super cool. Wet wedge. Because interior. I attention. wondered the whole time for for what this this little tool is. Yeah. And now I see this. Yeah. Okay. The leather. Yeah. The leather. Crazy. That seems this is newer leather. Yeah, I think it was yeah. rewrapped. Oh, well, you know the dash gets cracked yeah. in the sun. Yeah. The car was driven. I mean, it has. 61,000 miles? Some, the or, no, the original one was the Benyez yeah. one. Yes, with, with the LEDs. We can't find yeah. it. We have, the, no. we, have the, we have the Benyez one for the W201. Might have even two of them, but we can't find the one for the 126. Yeah. We may have to build it out or engineer because Gambala and then uh, it was a similar technology. But we have the Benyez one. I think it works. They, they, uh, yeah, they were like this. Yeah. So Gambala and yeah, worked closely. With yeah, my father made. I heard of it from him, he made over hundreds of these LED okay. glasses. Also for Gambala, or for Gambala, yeah. and for, for selling them without anything. Right, right. And I found one on the market in Germany, it's yeah. called eBay Kleinanzeigen. Yeah, yeah. And it was in Sweden or Norway. Norway. Norway? Norway was it. Norway. And it got the original package with the original postage stamp. Oh, cool. And so on. And it was sold there for, yeah, 1985, Local. 1988, somewhere there. Someone wanted it as an aftermarket piece. Yeah, aftermarket. And it was never built in a car. Yeah. And now it's back in Germany with a, yeah, a guy who had a SEC. Nice. And he sold it. And this is the only one I got. The only one you know, so, yeah. Yeah. We'll keep looking. We never stop looking. Yeah. We never stop looking, for real. We always look, always look, always yeah. look. A few hundreds and no, this Benny big the most rare car. parts. Yeah. Benny has rare parts. Whenever Koenig, see, everything else you can find in the Benny ABC yeah. exclusive, we can find Benny yeah. yeah. When you work at Glass, did you ever work on engines? Okay, very good. Yeah. Oh, well, so you know, you know, well, you didn't work on all the cars. Before. Yes, yes. At Bravo's Classic, I was oh, uh, one Classic. year. One year there. So you know this. Yeah, and so yeah, I know this engine. Yeah. Oh. I I have uh, I made one one complete uh, M one hundred seven wow. seventeen yeah. complete rear bolt. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's great. It's great. Yeah, it's complete all lights. The the rubber lights or something like this is horrible. You so want to move to Florida and work for it? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I thought to my boss. It was the original what black? Oh, yeah. You can see it. Yeah. Yeah. It's not black. Oh, 40, yeah. Ah, but that's, 40. Uh, that's repaint. Repaint, yeah. 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 It's all 40, yeah. But and this is not. No, no, no. It's not that's not, not spray. Get the firewall. <laughs> Get that one. Yeah. Cook it, too. Yeah. What? Hey. Hey, it's here. Find another one. Yeah. yeah that's, right. That's, huh? <laughs> After all these huh? Yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yes. Hard number. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, right. I will call it many yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's too good. Which one? Oh, That's my package. That's a package you sent. Oh, you yeah. I sent this Anthony put it in the car and didn't even tell us. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Those interiors? A concept interior. Yeah, this one's yeah. concept. Yeah. Yeah. The VIP one. Yeah, okay. So it's like yeah. a. I like got a, some photos from this one, standing near to uh, our home. Yeah. That's an indie concept. That's a fun word. It was planned as Goldwing, yeah? Yeah, okay. Oh, it was planned as a Goldwing? Yeah, yeah. This interior, I always saw the Riyadh, this is insane. This, uh, yeah. how they do the entertainment yeah. stack like Wait, that? This was supposed to be Goldwing? No, 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 this, this one, one, this one, the Indy. Yeah, These are all different models. Okay. This is El Riyadh had the, in, had that's, the that's crazy. 
Yeah. That's insane. Were these? So, does these, this exist ever? Yes, this is exist. So someone has this yeah, somewhere. So. In Riyadh, probably. When oh it's God. today alive. We'll find it. Yeah. We'll find it, we'll find it. Put it out there. Yeah. So Cabrio. Yeah. The centrum is nice. Hopefully when we have a museum, someone comes from Saudi Arabia. Like, That's what we want to have. Oh, when we see oh, the yeah. museum, the people can come and be like, oh yes, I have it out there. Oh, my you. mother got a call years ago from someone Arabian. Yeah. And he asked if we got parts for the cars. Mm -hmm. Want to give us money. And my father wasn't interested. Guys, these are all the different Benny S concept cars. So it's Benny S car, boat technique, and gone, gone, uh, gone bay off. Yeah? So it was boat technique, he wanted to do boat stuff as well. To, yeah. Wow. There are some, some drawings from roads, but I think he never uh, made the boat. Never made the boat. So this is where they got that picture from. This is the original brochure they got released with this picture. And then someone scanned it and made a photo out of it. Super cool. Thank you so much for that package, by the very, way. Very, very We're gonna, When we um, have the museum, we'll install the badge the right way <laughs> and put it in there. Because it's a Benny S, it's not, it's beyond a Mercedes, you know. Hey guys, we got Chris Hahn coming, founder of Styling Garage, all the way from Hamburg, Germany. Super excited to have him here at the Kingdom today, visiting us, seeing the cars, and seeing some of his old creations, and going back to the days of when these tuners were the biggest thing on the planet, like we're doing right now, bring him back. How are you, big boss? Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Nice hey, how's it going? Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Nice to meet you. Good to see you. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Nice to see you. Long time, long time. Yes, and yes. now, oh, 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 for you. Now I see the light. Like. There you go. Yeah. Welcome to the kingdom of Volker Vuitton. Yeah, beautiful. You know, it's it's really nice to find these cars in such collections. Yes. Yeah. And uh, I'll be very proud of that. We're proud to have them. Uh, yeah, I, I I think I'd be late. We, I suppose I've come last year. Yeah. And, uh, it's better late than never, man. It's good. That's, <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yeah. Yes. We're glad to have you here and go over some cars and, and talk for a little bit. So thank yeah, you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. Wow, love it. Love it. Great picture. And, uh, oh, wow, there it is. Oh, yeah, beautiful. We have to blow this Oh, baby. wow. It's right here. Yes. It's right here. Yeah, I know. I know. It's beautiful. Yeah, the, the new new uh, right. calendar is coming up. And, Great. Uh, uh, is the gold car going to be in the new calendar? It shouldn't be. Uh, this will be a picture of a new calendar. One yeah. of, one of oh, the... perfect. These wheels, what's the story behind the wheels? Oh, that's very funny. That's, um, you know, I created always wheels. So the, uh, uh, the couple of wheel manufacturers, I created the wheels. And this was my wheel because yeah. at that days, they are very special. They, this has a, a cooling effect to the to the gearing wow. and to the brake, and it keeps clean because yeah, yeah. The, the the dirt or the hot up. air comes out here to through this uh, gap and then it uh, goes out. But it's uh, it used to be turbine inside, mm -hmm. so it presses it, it takes it from the from the bearing and just push uh, push it out. Wow. And cool. um, but at that days, you know, we had with a lot of things too innovative. Yeah. So it's not, it's uh, not early. Just visual, it's technical. That's what's crazy. About yes, yeah, yeah. yes. Who made the first Gullwing 126? Was it you? Yeah, hundred percent. Okay. And why did you do it? Oh, that's uh, <laughs> damn. Actually. You know, Mercedes had a, had a Gullwing in the early 300s. Right, right there behind you. Yeah, right yes. And uh, there was one wheel manufacturer in Germany. Wow. He wanted to marketing. It, it, I have one. I have one in Hamburg. Okay. I, I have the a original barn one. A barn found one, nice. No untouched ever. Wow. Unbelievable. It's just for sale. Anyway, it's, um, the situation was that uh, Remotech uh, was a wheel manufacturer. We designed a new wheel with them. Yep. And he wanted to present it at, the, at a show, and he came up with the idea why we're not doing the SEC yeah. uh, with, with SGS okay. uh, so he uh, had the idea. white body and, and things like that. So he had that idea, and then I set up the idea. I introduced it to one of my sheikhs, and he burned for it. See, so that's what we were debating. Was it made first for the Arabs? And that all the crazy things being made first for them for the Arabs. <laughs> so right. the, so you know, it's fair I to am, say it's fair to say that if it wasn't for the Arabs, there might not have been a call. Uh, yeah, but, but you know. <laughs> <laughs>
when did and why did SGS move to Saudi Arabia in the 80s? Very simple. I, I started actually in Middle East with Qatar. I, I, I was already 79 in Qatar. You know, I used to be ship's engineer before. Okay. And I uh, was on the yacht Nabila. Nabila was at that days the biggest private yacht in the world, owned by Adnan Khashoggi. I was uh, managing director on the BMW dealership and uh, I was doing motocross racing and off road racing. Uh, also on BMW himself, made bikes. You were not building cars yet? No, I was, I was always far away from cars. Okay. My, my, my life was motorbikes. One of the sheikhs from Qatar, Sheikh Abdullah bin Yassin, came to Germany uh, and the British Army. The British Army camp is near Hamburg. And, uh, you know, he was there for four weeks. And, uh, but we met before at the yard and then, you know, he misused me daily, you know, for all shit. <laughs> so he then he bought, like you were a servant to him. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 As like beside it. my job, and then he bought a bunch of BMW motorcycles, but I manufactured with and for off, uh, made, made for uh, off road and things like that. And then he bought a, a bunch of cars. My my boss was really concerned. This is serious. So that was our first trip. We, he invited us to Qatar. That was the first meeting. A year later, I quit the job at BMW because I had a colleague. Um, the company called Static Garage. They imported American Jeeps. Yes. And I had opportunity to do my motorbikes at their place. They asked me, you know, we have a Jeeps, have, do you have any ideas what we can do? So I created a... You designer? A, I created a, a regular CG7 with big tires and some gimmicks with, from the aftermarket from so America. So that was basically the first SGS car that you that, made? That was the first Static Garage car, yes. So this was the beginning and then you know, we had a customer, he wanted something special. We created a Volkswagen Golf with a Rolls-Royce leather interior and a Rolls-Royce dashboard with Swiss instruments and things like that. A VW Golf. A VW Golf. This was the second new car. Then my <laughs> Sheikh asked me, you know, the, 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 my Qatari Sheikh asked me, they were driving regular cars. Yeah. Can we do something special? We had an accident Rolls-Royce and I, I, I took the grill from the Rolls Royce and put it to 126, 619. Wow. This will talk of a town in, 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 in Saudi Arabia. Uh, sorry, in, in Qatar. Qatar. So then they have the cousins in Saudi Arabia. And so that was your third car? <laughs> that was the third car. Uh, and suddenly, the, the Sheikh asked me for the stretch limousine. And I made the first stretch limousine. It was in process. And was it a 126? The first 126 stretch. Nobody thought about it, and I had to make the first stretch. At the same time, I married my wife. We had a honeymoon in Florida, nice. here. Great. And uh, there was a company in, uh, in uh, Fort Lauderdale. I, I read in the newspaper here, they were chopping cars and doing for car works. And uh, told my wife, said, go to the beach, you know, and I go to, <laughs> to, to practice and see what they're doing and how they're doing. Right. They did a six series and the 123. The coupe is convertible, and I was well, there, you know, about two weeks watching what they're doing, how they're doing. Did you study? <laughs> Stay there and and, yeah, and study, study what they're doing. You know, and uh, how old were you at the time? Twenty-six. Okay, twenty-six actually. Nice. Seven, seven. The first, I shot the first car. I came back Christmas and January, February. Then my friend called me and said, "Listen, I have a bus for you in, in Geneva." We took the stretch limousine and this uh, SEC convertible to Geneva. And this was, that was an earthquake. Yeah. Can't believe it. You know, the holy cow Mercedes that somebody cutting the cars. Wow. At that days. It was controversial. People were saying- Is that a Marbella? That was the first Marbella. Yeah, the first Marbella. But the top was, everything was lousy. You know, the, the reinforcement was, was wrong. It was for sure. It was for sure. And, and we yeah. just got something for the two. Yeah, then we had this Sheikh Hamid and yeah. got the, that Galwing and he he said and we became good friends and uh, we always joked with him because he was importing rainbow milk from England. So coffee, coffee cream milk. Yeah. Called in England famous rainbow milk. 
and we were joking with him. And I said, uh, and then he said, I'm going, I'm getting married. It's the daughter of Sheikh Zayed. And uh, he said, what can we do? Seven days entertainment. Rainbow cards. And then we made the, the this rainbow cards. Sheikh Hamid was an outstanding guy. So you invented the rainbow cards? I, we, he, the, the friends, you know, the Bedouins with him when when the desert, he was called, hey Rainbow, how are you doing okay. today? Yeah. So joking. So we made, we, I created wow. his logo. Oh my God. And then we, he became the Rainbow Shake. He didn't like it at that days. And, uh, <laughs> and, we made, and then we made a wedding, seven days under the rainbow. Oh, he, he was, uh, he was crazy. He had a helicopter and he fly with a helicopter. He, you know, he called me up and said, Chris, go in front of the door from the hotel. He landed on the street, picked me up. When we came back after two hours, the traffic jump was still happening. Of course, no. it was like he, was, he, was, he was crazy. <laughs> you know? And then, and then he also wanted the special cars and he wanted his TV in the car. Did he ever ask Jess the helicopter? Did we? We did it completely. His boats, oh we did God. everything. A big yard, we did everything. So there's an SGS helicopter out there? Yes, yes. We have pictures of it. I know we have a Kugok as well. So what's the story with, with oh, the Kugok, Kugok and SGS? Because that's something we have a lot of mystery on. We want to find out. No, no, it's, it's, it's very simple. Uh, this Kugok it was, a, uh, uh, I think, Egyptian or Lebanese. Um, he came to me and uh, had an order for one customer. So we built the car and he was quite often at our place and he watched everything and uh, suddenly he wanted to start himself. But I don't think he got ever more than two, three, four cars. Okay. Never ever. Where he was copied it? what where, we had. Where was this company? To be honest, I don't even know. We heard it was in Saudi Arabia, we're not sure. No, 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 no. This car's been made in Germany, definitely. Oh, okay. okay. And he had some customers and delivered the car and he tried to do some marketing. I even noticed he went with customers through the back door in my place and showed the customers that their place. Right. You know, sometimes these Arabs at that day they have been enough in knowledge. Yeah. So he drove back to the back yard and went into my place and sold it like you know and and sold and then he copied even he he paid to my people to to get some parts right. and some details and at the same time uh, Middle East we had uh, uh, you know especially this Geneva show we had a, a guy came through the through the press result from the Frankfurt uh, Geneva Motor Show came an old guy and, and said you know I want a special limousine for my friend can you do it no problem. Uh, I said, but the American have a different TV system and sound system and radios. You have to get me all this stuff. And uh, he said all this stuff and we made the limousine. We sent it by air to LA. And then he said, can you come yourself? And, and uh, my, my friend wanted to see you, you know, and that's all, all life, you know, you run into something and then you have new opportunities, you have things like that. So I, um, I came to LA and he said, no, we're going further, we're going to Vegas. So um, I was 28 years old. So he took me to Vegas uh, by a private, private plane and then Caesar's Palace. And then he said, we're going to that for a show. And Caesar's Palace was a show, Sammy Davis Jr., Dean Martin, yeah. and Frank Sinatra. Right back show. Yes, yeah. and, and then we were sitting on the table, round table in the first, first row and uh, they had the show and then they had a break and they came to the table and the old man introduced me and said, Mr. Sinatra, this is a young guy who built your car. Uh, had nice conversations and then they said, tomorrow we have another show. We invited to a show, is something new here and two Germans, by the way, they, <laughs> they, they're magic with tigers. No, no. Siegfried and Roy. Suddenly we got to that show, we watched the show after the show, they came to the table. So this was this was a next evening at, at that show, and then we made a car for them. As ordered, he ordered a car for them as well for limousine. So thanks so much for the time, this talking interview. But great, great. I know it's we great. walk around and talk a little bit more and look at some yeah, cars yeah. And, and have some experience today. Five, six, six. We made we made the the body. Okay. 
and then Hooper. Okay. Hooper. Yeah, it says it says Hooper on the other yes. side. Yeah. Hooper, the best Rolls Royce and Bentley converter in London. Okay. And Hooper got the he, he sold a limousine and he asked me and I built the shell. Okay. And Hooper did all the rest. So this is based up SGS basically. They, they, the body is SGS. That was oh, his that's personal car for yes. SGS. And he built it like that so you could put motorbikes in the back. You could fit two motorbikes in the back. But my 190s are, you know, like factory made. Okay. It's hard cover and everything. Okay. I sold more than 20 Schultz cars. Mm -hmm. the, man, the man who made the cars called Willem Geisel. He used to be a friend of, of Schultz, a young guy, and he had a body shop and he made these cars. And I was helping him to develop and I sold about a 20 of them. Then this one is it was a Mercedes dealer in Holstein and he uh, wanted to make a convertible. At the early stages I was helping him and I told him strongly, don't touch it because it doesn't make it can't make money. Guys, here we are at the museum building for the first time, it's inviting Chris Hahn to see before we actually get started. Yeah, where it's gonna be like, you know? We're gonna have it treated like a gallery space, like a modern art museum, but with the cars. So not traditional car garage feel, it's gonna be more like an art gallery feel, mm -hmm. very high end. Similar to the Museum of Modern Art when they did like Ralph Lauren car exhibit, that kind of feel, so. Yeah.